One in six Australians experience some form of hearing loss, possibly from watching the checkout. Skanky ha! For those experiencing hearing loss, the world can sound like this. That'll be 27.50, thanks. He said, that'll be 27.50. Can I borrow some money? Thanks. Each year, more than 100,000 of us get fitted with a hearing aid. Some go completely in the ear canal, some sit inside the ear, some go behind the ear. Some are better at separating background noise from speech. Some are best for outside, some for watching the telly, some for live music. For some kinds of hearing loss, a hearing aid won't help at all. So how do you work out what's right for you? Well, a lot of people will head to a hearing clinic and get tested by an audiologist. Basically, in Australia, there's two paths you can take before you can call yourself an audiologist. You can either go to university for a minimum of five years and do a master's in clinical audiology. I'm an audiologist. Or you could <laughs> not do that. Thanks, Mum. Well then, guess I'm an audiologist too. Anyone can call themselves an audiologist and fit your hearing aid. What? I said anyone can call no, themselves... No, I heard you. That's just crazy. Uh, I think I'll go to your clinic. Hearing aids are only one part of an audiologist's scope of practice, but they are a very profitable part. So even if the person fitting your hearing aid is qualified, audiologists often work on sales commission and have sales targets. So it's in their interest to sell you the most expensive brands. And the ACCC is concerned that many of the people buying hearing aids might be particularly vulnerable consumers because of their hearing impairment, age, disability or income level. But beware, even though a hearing clinic might seem like a medical practice, it can actually be more of a shop. Some major clinics even train their staff in sales techniques in order to sell more units and devices with a higher price tag. And despite all this money being spent, one in three people who are sold a hearing aid don't even use them, either because they didn't go through the proper fitting and rehabilitation or because they didn't need one at all. In one case, a customer was told she needed $13,000 hearing aids when the nature of her hearing loss didn't warrant the use of hearing aids at all. Look, if you ever want to hear again, I'm afraid the only option for you is the Heratron. And it's common for them to try to upsell you for extras you may not need, especially if you're a first-time buyer. Look, obviously, <laughs> you'll want Bluetooth. Plus, you'll need this remote control, travel case, UV cleaning kit, TV streamer and table microphone. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> well, let me turn this down. I think I'll shop around. OK, OK. Bye. Bye. You may be surprised to learn that many hearing clinics are actually owned by hearing aid manufacturers. I really think the Soundmaster 8000 is the only product for you. Soundmaster. <gasps> Soundmaster. <gasps> Soundmaster. Do you work for Soundmaster? What a thing to Soundmaster. I mean, say. Soundmaster. 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 Take hearing life the largest nationwide chain of hearing clinics. Hold on, how come he gets to be on screen? Hi. Hmm. Now, Hearing Life are owned by Danish company William de Mott, which also owns these hearing aid manufacturers, and they also run these other hearing clinic chains. Clinic chain Connect Hearing is owned by Swiss company Sonova, which also owns these hearing aid manufacturers. And these hearing aid manufacturers own these clinics. In fact, around one in three audiology clinics in Australia is owned by a hearing aid manufacturer. Now, clinic chain National Hearing Care proudly says that... As Australia's largest independent hearing service provider, we are not owned by a hearing aid manufacturer. Which is true but they are owned by the Italian hearing aid distribution giant, Amplifon. Now, of course... Sorry. Now, of course, just because a clinic is owned by a manufacturer doesn't mean they don't care about their patients' needs. But the conflict of interest is obvious. It's as if drug companies were allowed to run pharmacies. Hi, uh, what do you recommend for athletes' foot? Viagra. So, how many Soundmasters can we put you down for? I'll get back to you. 
Sound master. Sound master. Sound master. Oh, you're back. Yes, I've decided to go with. Even if they're not wholly owned by the manufacturer, clinicians might be given incentives to spruik a certain brand. These could include trips to overseas conferences or even an iPad. Shut up, Michelle Barry from Better Hearing, Australia's largest independent consumer-based non-profit organisation for hearing loss. Gah, she's right. This isn't why I became an audiologist. Do you know some of us have to hit crazy targets, like making sure a quarter of our sales come from high-revenue devices? No, I didn't. Well, it's written right here. And some clinics run competitions on who can sell the most hearing aids and who can sell the most expensive ones. And if we don't play ball, they could fire us. Well, they can't fire me. I quit. I'm your audiologist now. <laughs> Yep, you need a hearing aid. <coughs> so, how do you avoid that conflict of interest? Well, let's ask my boss, Michael Badcock. He wears a hearing aid. Oh, hi, Mark. So, how do I find an independent audiologist in Australia? Well, there is Independent Audiologists Australia. I'll never remember that. They insist their members are university qualified and they're not allowed to have any arrangement which may affect their clinical opinion. And are they the only good ones? Not necessarily. But research your clinic before you go. Many will proudly state they have no sales commissions. Whatever else you do, when you walk into a hearing clinic, ask them what qualifications they have and what their company's relationship is to the products they're selling. Thanks, my good friend and boss, Michael Badcock. No problem. Are you stealing stationery from work? Ah, uh, if it isn't my other boss, Julian Morrow, here to say the thing he always says. Stop coming in late. No, no, the other thing. Oh, right, yes. Remember that hearing aids are just goods and an audiologist is a service, so they're all covered by the consumer law guarantees, like being fit for purpose. Is that my wedding ring? Wait, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm an independent audiologist now. Don't be afraid to ask questions about your audiologist recommendations, because a more expensive model may not be the best option for you. For instance, the ACCC. Wait, is that the symbol for the ACCC? Looks like Pac-Man. Anyway, the found that customers were just as likely to be dissatisfied with their hearing aid no matter how much money they spent. So discuss your specific needs with your audiologist. You might find cheaper prices for individual hearing aids online, but those prices are likely to be just for the device. You'll still need to pay a qualified audiologist for adjustments and therapy. However you buy, check what's included in the price you're given. After all, you can't just expect to shove in a brand new hearing aid and go about your day. All of this is costly, so check if you're eligible for free government assistance at hearingservices.gov.au. But be careful. Some clinics will... Oh, we need more room. Sorry. Some clinics will actually train their staff to upsell to customers who have a government assistance voucher to make them spend more. If you do go through the government scheme, commissions and preferred supplier arrangements must be disclosed to you. You can download the Consumer Guidance Fact Sheet at hearingservices.gov.au. Are you stealing medical supplies? If you're not... Why do you get to work from the pub? I felt like a beer. What about me? All right, come on. Thanks. If you're not eligible for government assistance and you can't afford a hearing aid, you may want to consider a hearing aid bank. They provide recycled hearing aids and ongoing assistance for clients in need. At the end of the day, we want clinicians to focus on creating better hearing outcomes for consumers. Instead of, you know, Exactly. See? I already know Auslan. Nice work. What does that sign mean? Uh, that means great story. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs>